What's up, guys, and welcome back to 306 Live here on Slags Tube. It is Tuesday, April 14th, 2020. Yes, 2020. And we are here, we are back, and we are ready to go. Okay, so let's take a look at our birthday of the day. I got a little bit of backlash for the birthday of the day yesterday, maybe a little too much editorial, uh, a little too much of my own opinion. But I'll tell you, uh, it's really not the day for that, as you're about to find out. So, uh, celebrating his 79th birthday today, Mr. Pete Rose, the greatest major league hitter of all time. Uh, this man is not in the Hall of Fame. It is a travesty. It is a crime. It is a sin against the game. Uh, let Pete Rose into the Hall of Fame. He's the best hitter the world has ever seen, will ever see. The record will never be broken, okay? Uh, 4,256 hits. Only one person is even close. That's Ty Cobb. Uh, no one else is close. No one will ever catch this man. Uh, there's only 30 people in Major League history that have ever hit 3,000 hits. And we're talking about a guy with the most hits of all time, over 4,000 hits, so 4,256. Uh, it's a crime. It's a shame. Let him in. Okay? Thank you. Sorry for the editorial. Now, on this day in history, 1865, uh, President Abraham Lincoln has an extremely bad night at the theater uh, when he is shot once in the head from behind from the assassin John Wilkes Booth, okay? Um, even though the Civil War had ended uh, with the surrender of the Confederate forces, Wilkes Booth was sympathetic to the Confederacy. He was a Confederate activist and thought that by assassinating the president, uh, the vice president and the secretary of state, they would be able to knock out the Union government and the South would be able to rise back up. Um, he was successful in killing the president, obviously. Um, the vice president and secretary survived. Uh, one recovered from his injuries and the other was uh, not not attempted on his life. Uh, but President Abraham Lincoln, uh, 16th POTUS, died on this day in Ford's Theater. I want to talk about today, uh, we're not going to hit a new chapter, we're going to talk about Pat Carmen 315, of course, uh, things that go bump in the night. We're talking about The Lift, which is a story about um, an extremely skilled snowboarder who meets his demise on the slopes. Uh, he runs into a tree and dies. And interestingly, his ghost stays up on the slopes and takes runs every day, every two days, I don't know. On the full moon? I don't know. Maybe when there's only one person left, it doesn't say, right? But the ghost is very, very jealous. And if it looks like, if it looks like someone is doing better tricks than the ghost could do when he was alive, his snowboarding tricks, uh, then he... It looks like he claims that person who is showing off, right? So maybe this ghost is arrogant, right? Maybe this ghost is conceited. Maybe this ghost is jealous and envious, okay? So this is that, that portrait we're drawing of that ghost, right? What I want you guys to do today uh, is a written reflection. We're going to make a list, okay? Now you can elaborate on this as much or as little as you like. I want a list with at least five, that's right, five uh, things on it. We're going to do alternate settings or alternate characters for the lift, okay? So in the lift, we have this envious ghost, right, who doesn't want anyone to do anything better than him. And if someone comes along who's doing better tricks than him, racing faster than him, what does he do to Dylan? Kills him, okay? Takes him. And then they go up on the hill at the very end of the story. Spoiler alert. Pause. Go back. Time out. Okay. Time in. Here we go. He takes him up with him and then... At the end of the story, I said, now there's two ghostly snowboarders up there racing through the trees, right? Maybe not the worst way to go if you like snowboarding, okay? I'm not a huge fan of winter, so not my ideal way to go. If I could be a ghost uh, for eternity, I'd probably want to be uh, on, a, on a nice sunny beach somewhere, right? With my ties, okay? <laughs> That's how I want to spend it. But the snowboarding ghost. So five separate settings, alternate settings for the same story. Now we need um, an antagonist, villain of the story, obviously is the ghost, right? The jealous, envious, cruel ghost who was very good at something in life, met an untimely end, a tragic accident perhaps, and now kind of stakes his claim to that area. Uh, bonus points if they are alliterative, meaning they use the same word, uh, same letter for each, each word. So I've got the uh, some alternate settings up here. I've got an alternate title for the lift, which is the Scary Slopes, right? S-S, okay? The Scary Slopes, the ghostly snowboarder who doesn't want anyone to do better tricks than him. We've got uh, the Dangerous Downhill, right? The 
this if uh, this is the exact same thing, right? So the dangerous downhill, the scary slopes, just different alliterative names, okay? So you see what we're going for here? Now, let's decide, okay, who the antagonist is, what they're skilled at, and what they don't want anyone to catch up to them at. So we've got the haunted hacky sack. Right? Maybe this guy, uh, he hangs out at the same place in the park all the time. He can always do the best tricks with his hacky sack. I don't know what those tricks are, what they're called, or what it looks like. But he was the best. Okay, And now, anytime somebody goes through that park, they find the haunted hacky sack. And they start doing tricks with it. But if the tricks get too good, watch out. They might get a visit. Okay, um, The shivering surf. Same thing. Surfer. Instead of a snowboarder, just shake the whole guy. Drop him on the beach, I, I, where I'd rather be, right? Instead of on the freezing slopes, now he's on the beach. Maybe he's uh, on, on a Hawaii beach where the huge waves are. And they see every night at dusk, right when the sun goes down, you can see a, a shadowy figure, right, out there on the waves. And it's the same thing. Whenever anyone tries to ride the biggest wave of the season or whenever tries to do the biggest trick, they say, watch out. You don't want to get too good. You don't want to ride too big of a wave or... Maybe the surfer will come looking for you, right? So you see what I'm getting at here? So there's no limit to the amount of things you could do. I want to keep the exact same story, okay, with a, a young boy who's coming up to his age. He's 16, 17, 18 years old, coming into his own, really building his skill. He's very talented, okay? And a jealous, greedy, envious, murderous ghost who doesn't want anyone to get better than him. So if the ghost is here and this guy starts getting better and better and better, the ghost starts to watch, the ghost maybe warns him, and then if he tries to pass the ghost... No, sir. No, sir. Okay? It's over. All right? So, we've got a couple more ideas. Um, the Creepy Creek, right, where the annual speedboat race is held. And there was a speedboat driver who was the fastest on, on water. And he crashed his boat, blew up in a fiery blaze. And so now, anytime someone tries to break his speed record on the course, maybe they see the, the uh, shimmering ghost behind him in his speedboat, right, on Creepy Creek. Um, the macabre motocross, same thing, same story, just a different setting, okay? We've got your young up and coming motocross racer, right? And he's trying to break the records, he's trying to do the tricks on the dirt course, the motocross, run his dirt bike as hard as he can, as fast as he can, 250 cc's, I don't know, does that sound right? And then just as he's about to break the world record, he sees a shadowy bike behind him, all black, no decals, no number, all black jacket on the rider, all black helmet, visor down, can't tell who's in there, black gloves, right? So the exact same story in a different setting, okay? Um, the horrifying hoops, right? There was a, a world famous street baller who was in this park and tragically he, he, he won his last game and he never lost, but tragically when he was crossing the street, he was hit by a car, okay? And unfortunately he died, but his spirit didn't get away from the haunted hoops and it stays there all the time and if anyone ever tries to break his record for points in a game he scored 62 points in a game right it's the record for the course so if anyone ever goes to the haunted hoops and they start scoring 58 59 they say hey 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 maybe we should call it a day right you don't want to bring uh, you don't want to bring the haunted hoops ghost around okay uh, the foreboding fisherman same thing greatest fisherman right he caught the biggest the biggest bass in the lake okay 17 pounder and anytime someone gets close to that record, right, they see a shadowy figure over casting in the weeds, right, getting closer every time they look away, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like that, right? Okay, it's the same thing. They don't have to. They don't have to rhyme. They don't have to be alliterative. But I want to see five examples of the exact same story with Dylan and the ghost. Okay, S dropping them into a new setting should be the exact same story, just in a different setting. And in this way. The author or you can appeal to people who might not be into it, right? You guys might not care about snowboarding. You might think snowboarding is stupid. I don't know. Maybe you love it, right? But I know you like basketball, okay? So if I wanted to make a ghost story, a cautionary tale, something to get you guys hooked, I wouldn't start it about snowboards, right? Maybe I'd start it about basketball. So in that way, maybe the haunted hoops is better than the scary slopes, okay? Maybe, maybe. So, but for other people who hate basketball or don't like basketball, or they've got too much basketball, they need something different. And maybe for them, right, the macabre motocross would be a, a better solution for that. So, same story, five ways, five settings. All right, and you can you can do this all day. Maybe uh, maybe in the big, just just think of the sports complex, right? All the things they have. Think about the Y, or think about uh, the college uh, field house, and just think about they've got the uh, the petrifying pool, or they have the fastest swimmer of all time. And anytime they start to get too good at swimming, they see that person paddling behind, paddling, paddling. 
Uh, next to the petrifying pool, we've got the, the dastardly diving board, right? If that, where the high dive record was broken. Uh, right outside, uh, the awful archery range, the atrocious archery range. Uh, maybe, maybe on the football field, we've got uh, the, uh, next to the football field where the soccer team practices. They've got the ghoulish goals. And maybe they've got the, uh, for the football team, they've got the unspeakable uprights, right? And so the ghost haunts the kicker on every team. And this, this, this college, they lose every single game when it comes down to the last second kick, right? Because the uprights are haunted and the ghost comes down and tells the kicker, if you make this kick, then uh, uh, you'll win the game, but I'll take your soul, right? So all the kickers get afraid and they all miss on purpose, right? So this college loses every single game that comes down to a last second kick because of the curse of the unspeakable uprights. Okay, I don't know, I'm just spitballing here, right? But you see how quickly you can kind of smash through a story if you already have the bones of it and then you just have to stick the meat on, right? So we've got that story skeleton of Dylan the up-and-comer with the greedy, uh, cruel ghost who's very jealous and doesn't want anyone to come near his skill abilities. So you just, anything you, anything you want to be good at, maybe the, it's the haunted harmonica, right? The horrendous harmonica. And he's the, the world's best harmonica player. He doesn't want anyone, he's jealous, right? So it can be anything you want, five separate ones, and I want you to fully flesh out one of them, okay? You don't have to write the whole story, that's crazy, all right? You can if you want to, okay? But I want you to draw out uh, a little bit of plot, right? And then what happens on Mount Climax, okay? What's the, what's the turning point? It doesn't have to be like a twist ending, but what happens when, what happens when the, the critical decision, when the up-and-comer has to decide, do I push past this ghost in ability and skill, or do I let the ghost still be king of the mountain, right? So tell me what happens at the top of Mount Climax. It's an easy assignment. You're gonna transpose the lift into five different settings, Okay, and you're gonna flesh out one of them. Just kind of got the skeleton right there. Pack some story meat on his bones. Turn it in. All right. So should be easy. Should be good. Tomorrow we'll take a look at the next chapter. We'll keep going. I hope you're rocking through uh, the worksheets, the the science, the history, the math. If there's anything in there that you need help with, let me know. You can comment below, okay? Or you can send me an email. Uh, you can call the school. All right. Someone will be able to help you. But please, please, please. Do the work, okay? Do the work. So uh, we'll see you back tomorrow on April 15th. That's a Wednesday, all right? And the Battle Pass is at level 79 right now. We're doing pretty well, okay? We're doing pretty well in the Battle Pass, 79. So uh, it will we push to 100? I don't know, but we're going to try, okay? So I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you here tomorrow.